What's up, people, man? It's your boy, Spaces, man. We are here with a surprise live stream today. Man, 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 oh, man, oh, man. What's up, everybody, man? I just want to tell you guys, man, I had planned on doing a stream Thursday, which I am still going to do, but today... As you see in the title, this baby dropped today and I said, oh, 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 let me go ahead and jump on it, man. Now, just in case you don't know, this is uh, Bitwig Studio 5. Now, this is the beta, so it's still in testing. I think the, the actual drop date is April the 11th. So, I hope you are as excited as I am because, oh man, oh man, am I excited. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yes. Oh, my boy. What's up, Greg Keys? Man, it's been a minute, bro. Um, Matter of fact, last Thursday, I jumped on for a little bit, but it was just to test it because I want to start back doing my streams again, man. I just I just miss, miss interacting with you guys, bro. So, I mean, it is what it is, man. Um, uh, YouTube don't really push streaming like talking about but man i don't care man i just miss you guys i miss, I miss hanging out with y'all man so man just so you know thursday i will be back again on thursday i have a uh, show planned on thursday this one was not planned until earlier today so um i'm gonna be a little bit off on this one but it's all good because we gonna keep it going you better know my boy great keys you better know we in there man we in there man so i am not gonna keep you guys long tonight um, because I have some other stuff that I want to do, but I do want to tell you guys, man, if, cause I am going to be given an opportunity, man, anybody want to jump on, man, we do have, do you want to get on camera, man, jump on, man, and, um, talk about it. We talking about, it. I'm giving the opportunity to click in and be a guest on the show, man, uh, just so everybody can get in and, you know, get what we do. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, Great Keys, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, man, that's the link. Anybody want to jump on uh, the stream with us, man? Definitely be, uh, be, you know, be nice. Don't be crazy. When you first jump on, I will see you before I put you on the screen. So just be, you know, be good, man. But anyway, I'm not going to hold you guys long today. Like I said, I got other work that I need to do. But I wanted to go ahead and jump on this here man this is bit wig five uh i think this is actually 5.2 if i'm not mistaken and what i want to do because i haven't dive i haven't dove deep into this just yet but i wanted to talk about some things that they added and just kind of give a brief a showing of what that looks like on uh bit wig today and i say again this is beta, so I'm going to do another uh, stream to really break it down once they actually release the live version of it. Now, uh, I don't have an affiliate. I'm not sponsored by Bitwig or anything like that. It's just my doll of choice, and so I just wanted to show for everybody that use Bitwig or thinking about using Bitwig, I just wanted to kind of show what they got going on. So... I'm going to dive right into it. Um, I am looking at what they have on their website also, just so I can make sure that I'm saying these stuff, this stuff correctly so everybody can have the correct information. So just go ahead and start off. First thing I notice is that they have changed, not really changed, they've updated the look just a little bit. They made it a little sharper looking. Um, I'll just kind of go through here. And let's see, let's go to the arrangement. No, not the arrangement. Let's get out of this thing here. So they have cleaned the look up a whole lot, man. It's just it's just those little bitty sharp uh edges, man. I don't know what it is. It just does something different to the actual look of Bitwig, man. It just it's just those little sharp, those little sharp edges. Uh, down here you see they added this little it looked like a little block or whatever they added this was not there um so they added this there um what else did they have they, they updated the browser oh my gosh so the browser let's talk about this browser man matter of fact i'm gonna stretch it out just a little bit so you can see it now, there's two ways that they did this. The number one way that I'm looking at is this view here where you can come in now and you see this little thing that says everything, they mean everything. So, out of all of everything that I have on here between the VSTs, the uh, effects, everything, right? So, if I type in the word kick, it's going to bring up everything dealing with kicks, Wow. Everything they have kick in it is going to bring up the waves, the instruments, the uh, virtual instruments. I mean, whatever, whatever has kick in it is going to bring it up. That 
is crazy. I love that. Um, they have a new look to this thing. Um, let's see what else we got. They have, let's see here. I like the character, uh, the way they separated everything here. They got the locations. They got the file kind, the categories, the creator. I think that's pretty cool. The device and the tags. Um, man, they really, really updated this browser. They really, really updated this browser. And I love this. Now, this little button right here. This is where I said, man, come on now. Come on now. Man, this little piece right here is so dope to me. So this was on like the back end of Bitwig. So they had this when you go to this little uh, dashboard deal. So you had to go to the dashboard then click on it for this look that they have here. But man, man, look at that look that they added to it. I think it's beautiful. You have your uh, packages, your collections. Uh, now these are your favorites. You can basically say all of your favorites will pop up here. You have them by kind, what they are. Oh my gosh, bro, look at that. Oh, I love the way this look. Uh, of course, the locations. You have this little everything icon. So when you see this little icon, you know that it means everything, right? Uh, now, that is on this particular side here. Uh, then you can also come over here and do the same thing. So you pull it up here. As you see, you have the little everything icon again. You have all of your instruments, all of your audio effects, all of your note effects, your plugins, and your library. So this is just crazy then of course you have the button up here at the top also which gives you this look here again so it has it on both sides of it this right here like bitwig's um browser was already amazing so they added this to it mm, this thing looks good i have to say it looks very very good so um what else did they add here? So they added the multi, they call it the MSEG, which is the uh, multi-segment envelope envelope generator. Now, what that does is, is that it allow you to draw in your envelopes. So, uh, I mean, your uh, shapes, your shapes and all that good stuff here. So let's say like this particular deer here. <laughs> polymer and I'll click this off now this here they added this new little thing here called scrawl and if you click on this it pulls this up now you can come in here you can take your little pencil here and you can just kind of draw this stuff in wherever you want to put it come in you can do like your saw tooth i mean i saw tooth the uh what was the other one um was it swarm i think it was no dang i think it was the wave was it the wave table yeah so they updated this look also they updated this also so you have your different wave tables <laughs> I think it was. Hold on. Um, let's see here. Segments. So, huh. 
Hold on, y'all. Let me make sure I'm doing this correct. So, remember, <laughs> I hadn't had a lot of times to kind of play with it yet, but we're gonna we're gonna get through this thing. Uh, let's see here. So I know the squall is. So you see how it does this. So basically, the the idea is that you can you can draw in the different things that you want. Now, they have this with uh, the segments and the LFOs also. So there's a couple different places that you can actually draw in uh, whatever it is that you want to do. You can you can you can go all the way with this. You can go all the way with it and it will like go as far as you can push it. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go back. Let's look at um, uh, what happened. Oh, here we go. All right. So I got to find. Let's see here. Um, where is this at? I think this is in the grid. Let's see. And you can save your curve also. So if you have, like if you created one that you really like, you want to put it on something that you're doing later on, you can also save it here, which is dope. I think that's pretty cool. Um, now, this is going to allow you to snap it, but you can also unsnap it and it gets as loose as you want it to get. That was the other part of that. Um, so you can do that. The... Let's see here. Let's see here. There's another part that I am missing, man. I can't remember where it is, though. Uh, let's see. What was the other part, man? I know there's a spot with the segment and the LFOs. Now, there is some stuff. Let's go to, like, uh, here. I know they added some different things in here too. You can add different curves and stuff like that to it. I hadn't really, I hadn't really messed with that just yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to dive into that too, to really get the gist of it. Um, let's see here. Let me just kind of, let's see. Uh, so you got this. It got that uh now you could you could do this already but there's another spot that I know I'm missing man I know I'm missing a spot um there's a spot that you can go on and actually add curves to the LFO and I did it earlier I just forgot how I did it golly man golly and there's a way you can mess with the slopes. You can mess with the transfer. All this stuff up here. Oh, man, I hate I cannot remember how I did that. I hate I can't remember how I did that. Um, let's see here. Is it this? Yeah, so here it is. You can add... LFO, but nah, I don't think that's the. Sp I don't think that's where I'm thinking of, cause it's a spot where you can uh, you can pull it out and draw in it. It's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna figure it out. Um, it will pop out. It, it it's like a pop out, and it'll allow you to kind of draw in it. Uh, let's see here. I know here and there's the wave scroll hmm I'm gonna figure this out man there's there's a way that you can come in here and really uh 
create magic in this thing. I just can't remember what I did. I messed with this junk earlier because I was excited about it and I cannot figure out how I did it. But it's all good though, because I'm gonna do another video on it when I really get down to the nitty gritty of this. But anyway, um, you have like your curves here, right? Same thing, you can pop that baby out, dial in however you wanna dial this in. And I think this is the LFO, this is it, this is it. Ah, figured it out. This is it right here. So basically, you can come in here. So let's say if you wanted to route, let's see here. Uh, let's route something in here. Uh, let's see here. You know what? Let's do a blank one. Let's do a blank one. Let's do uh Let's open up a grid. No, it's called a polygrid. There it is. So open up a blank one. Right? And then what I would do is come up here, LFO, go here. Would do a um, some like I don't know. Uh, let's see. So you can hear. I should have looked at this a little bit. I was just too excited earlier doing dealing with it and was playing around and thought I had figured it out, but I didn't. But anyway, I, I ain't finna waste no more time doing that. Anyway, the idea is that you can come in here and draw this around here. You can also undo the snap like I said in the other one. You can do that here, drag it around however you want it. Create that sound. Um, you can do the same thing. What's the other one? Um... Uh, I think it's uh, somewhere that says the spectrum. There's a segment. Where is it at? Man, listen. I'm not going to waste your time with this, man. I just know that's, that's what you can do because it's all about that. It's all about drawing in your different sounds that you can do. There's even a way... Uh, that you can open up to everything and what it will do is that's how you save it um, it has these preset up the pre uh, the preset drawings or whatever you want to call that part anyway however you want to put it they got it like that on there uh, when I do the next video, I'll know this information. I just want to talk about it. But anyway, outside of that, that was pretty cool. They had a lot more other little bitty stuff that happened. Those are the main things that I that I was want to talk about now. Also, in the the um, clips clip launcher, so they had this deal where you can set this up let's do it so
So let's see here. So they have a way in here that you can set this up to where like if you're a performer, if you wanted to perform some different things, you can. There's a way to set that up. Uh, I know, man. I know great keys, man. I, I got, I, I'm doing, this is horrible. Um, I got to really dig in it and really get the understanding of it. Um, but I wanted to talk about it because it was new. There were some other things that I wanted to talk about that was on there too. Um, so there is, um, so let me say this too. Let me say this. Bitwig is, it is not, I don't want to say it's not a simple doll, but it, you have to kind of know something about sound design to really get Bitwig. Uh, not in all cases, not in all cases, because it's just like any other doll where you can really get into it and just put in stuff that you already have, VSTs you already have and all that good stuff. Uh, but Bitwig, where it shines at is where you can create the custom sounds and all that good stuff and make your sounds that way. Um, that's where it, that's where it shines at. With this particular deal here, a lot of the things that they added was for the sound design part of it. They did have some stuff with the clip launcher where if you are a performer, you can hold down clips and it'll play while you hold it down. As soon as you let it go, it'll stop which I think is really cool for anybody that's doing performances. Uh, so they have that available. They also have, uh, and of course you can already do it to where you can set it, play the, the next scene. So if, if I have, man, I keep doing this, but if I have this scene playing, if I want to play this scene, I can set this up to do that. Um, they have, a, a new thing that they added to it that goes with if you're a performer now I'm not a performer I would probably never learn that because it's just not anything that I do but I think it's cool if you are a performer you can have that set up and what I would do is uh, play you know what I'm going to play this other part and so you can actually see it because I, I know I'm never going to learn this as far as that part of it go, because I don't do performances. I'm not a performer of any sort. And what I will do is just kind of play this so you can see it. This video is actually on YouTube already. I will uh, delete it from the video. Man, do you see how the thing was jumping like that on that? Oh, man. That's gonna be crazy. That's just gonna that that's gonna be crazy. Oh man, I cannot wait to really just dive into it and figure all that stuff out. Uh, but those are the main features of Bitwig Five. I did a horrible job of explaining it, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> it is okay. We're gonna be all right with it. That was uh, it. Shocked me because I wasn't looking forward to it or anything like that but i saw the video earlier today of the release from someone that i follow on you on youtube that has that does bitwig stuff i want to say it's polarity music i think the guy's name is really dope channel he knows bitwig i'm still learning bitwig there's so much to learn in bitwig to really get the benefit from it so it's a lot to learn a lot of different things it has expanded my mind when it come down to producing music so i love what it has done i'm gonna continue learning it continue to do different things on it this thing man that browser is so dope to me that browser just everything the mseg is dope too being able to draw in that to make that sound whatever you wanted to to sound like you can create your own sound i'm all about creativity creating different things that only you would have save them use them in different places 
it's something unique to you. That was one of the reasons why I jumped to Big Wig was because it, it allowed me to be unique to myself and what I do. Because I love creating different sounds that nobody else is doing. I can say it's mine. That's what I do it for. That's why I always do it. So I just love doing it. And it was, like I said, it was one of the re- main reasons I went to Big Wig was because of the creativity that you can do in it. And it just opened my mind up for this whole setup and how it allows you to do different things. So, man, 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 man. Uh, I'll see here. I hope I didn't, like, bore y'all with that. But this thing is super dope. And I really am going to enjoy learning it. So, that's all I got. I just wanted to jump on real quick, talk about Bitwig. Be here Thursday. Thursday would not go like today. I know what I'm talking about Thursday. Uh, I didn't want to. I wanted to give my initial reaction to it because I was super excited earlier today when it actually dropped. So, when uh, Thursday, 8.30, I'm going to be back here. We have some new stuff that has dropped. I want to talk about the new three, the new things that have dropped here recently. I have three of them that we're going to talk about, and we're going to go in. We're going to go in, and man, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night. I got work to do. Got some things I got to get done before uh, before tonight is over with. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on to that, man. Shout out to everybody that jumped on for this quick little stream. We're going to get back to it Thursday. We'll see y'all then, man. Peace out.